In addition to the layoffs at Ubisoft San Francisco last Friday, as well as Red Storm Entertainment in North Carolina, they have six new job postings on the Ubisoft website that I found to be interesting. Mark Rubin said the team's going through a restructuring, so I imagine in addition to switching around some roles within the team, these job postings have something to do with it as well. That some of them may have already been filled by now, but they're still up on the website for all we know. I'm just going to mention each of the six positions that they're hiring for and then go into a little bit of detail about what each one of them involves. All right, so we've got Dev Test Team Lead, Events Manager, Creator Campaign Specialist, Anti Cheat Engineer, Game Security Tech Lead, and Game Security Engineer. Three of these positions are fully remote from anywhere in the United States. Three of them are hybrid from San Francisco with you having to be there two days a week. The dev test team lead is basically a project manager. You're going to be using JIRA, a ticketing software, project management software, to make sure everything between the various different teams at the company is up to date. Everybody's up to deadline coordinating within the quality assurance teams, coordinating with all the developers, the animators, the artists, just making sure that everything's where it needs to be. This is definitely a big key leadership role, which is also why you have to be present at least two days out of the week and be living in San Francisco for this particular job. For this particular role, they're looking for somebody who shipped at least one AAA title on multiple different platforms in the past somebody with lead experience this is somebody who's in charge of also hiring other people at the company so this job right here is probably the most major one out of all of the ones that are listed right now some of the coding ones are also really important but this one right here is huge in terms of just like the leadership and the direction that the game goes next we have the events manager this is essentially a marketing position they're going to be in charge of live events such as like gamescom or something they're going to be in charge, it says, of live events as well as virtual events, which could even be, you know, paying streamers to stream the game, things like that. It says that they're going to be conducting post-event reporting and tracking return on investment analysis. So this is going to be somebody who's choosing where to put money for the marketing budget, possibly, and then showing how it's going to positively affect the company essentially this is also somebody who's going to be developing and maintaining relationships with different streamers with different avenues to be able to market the game and advertise this person will also be in charge of things like when they have creators fly out to test out games early and stuff like that creator campaign specialist this is going to be kind of like the previous job that i mentioned except this one's not quite as much responsibility this one's going to be requiring the person to be living in san francisco as well just like the previous one but this one's going to be more so based around like the ubisoft creators coming up with ideas for pushing you know bundles and stuff in the game things of that nature seasonal events within the game this one's more so working with like the ubisoft creator program more grassroots marketing essentially smaller creators such as myself things of that nature that's essentially what the creator campaign specialist is going to be doing they're going to be coming up with ways to market the various monetization methods inside of the game you know coming up with the twitch drops things like that social media campaigns possibly anti-cheat engineer specifically for x defiant what they're going to do secure the game client and its interactions with the game servers integrate and maintain external anti-cheat tools and services in the game engine investigate exploits and cheats happening in our game and others Collaborate with other engineers to improve the game's security. Educate content creators and gameplay engineers on how to maximize game security. So maybe don't share those videos of the vector doing sniper damage. What you'll bring C, C++ experience with understanding of multi-threaded programming techniques. Experience with off-the-shelf anti-cheat products such as Easy Anti-Cheat or Battle Eye. 
low-level experience with Windows and the ways exploits take advantage of the OS, an autonomous problem-solving and open-minded attitude, self-directed, focused, and detail-oriented work skills. So this is a fully remote job as well as the next two. Everybody who really hates cheaters in the game have a little bit of hope, but understand there's never going to be no cheaters at all. I personally feel like they're not super common, but at the same time, the game's not really at its most popular state right now. And if it was as popular as something like Warzone, cheaters probably would be rampant. Game security tech lead, this is essentially a leadership role, very similar to the last one in terms of the requirements. This is a leadership role that's going to be in charge of the anti-cheat, basically. The other one's going to be somebody who's working on the anti-cheat. This one's going to be the person who's their boss, basically. Gameplay security engineer. This is essentially another anti-cheat position. This is going to be somebody maintaining the integrity of the servers maintaining the integrity of the way that the game interacts with your computer so that you can't like give yourself all the skins in the game or the worst case scenario for any game with things with, with microtransactions be able to give yourself things that you would normally spend money on at the end of the day something like an anti-cheat is always going to be a cat and mouse game where the cheaters are going to be one step ahead. The developers kind of have to adapt and find a way to adjust, make changes, to then put the cheaters a few steps back, hold them at bay for a little bit. Then the cheaters catch up again. The developers have to throw another wrench in there, mix things up. You know, it's just a constant Tom and Jerry type of thing. Overall, this seems to be a positive thing. It seems that Ubisoft has not pulled the plug on this game. One thing that I can say about this situation, though, is that we don't necessarily have a timeline how long from now things are going to get where people want them to be in terms of the net code, maybe even content. We're still going to be just getting one map a month. So in the meantime, I think we're going to just need to get more modes and stuff, potentially even like nerf some things like as much as people don't want to nerf movement, as much as people don't want to change certain things, maybe we could remedy some of the netcode issues and stuff like that, and then buff movement again once the netcode's improved more. I don't know, that's maybe just a crazy idea, but I feel like whatever could make the game play better and retain people more would be a good thing at this point in time. All things said though, I think that this is just a good sign that Ubisoft is committed for the long run, at least so far what they're showing. You know, we'll just have to see how things play out. In the event that the game were to get canned in another year or something, six months from now, I would just suggest enjoying the game while it lasts, have fun with it. I don't really think that they're going to can it anytime soon though, considering they're making all these big hirings. Like these are not small positions that they're trying to fill. Judging off the fact they're looking to hire three anti-cheat people as well as somebody who's going to be like a team leader for the team overall. I really think that they're invested in the long term. Something like the dev test team lead hiring makes me believe that they're going to get some more leadership on the team in order to push things forward like the netcode improvements and stuff like that and improve the timeline on the different things that the game really needs. So let me know what your current thoughts are on the game. Have you lost hope? Are you still having fun with it playing every day? Are you taking a little break from it and gonna come back when there's new content? I'm personally still having fun with it and see a lot of potential in the game, so I'm sticking around. I finally got access to the Delta Force Hawk Ops Alpha, so I'm gonna try that out today and make a video on it pretty soon. Hope everybody has a great day and I hope to catch you again on the next video.